COVID-19 hit us all very unexpectedly. Nobody was really prepared for a pandemic uh, of such a global scale. In Luxembourg, we were really hit by it on March 12, 2020, when the first patient inside our hospital was infected. A crisis management team was put into place and very quickly we started to deal with that completely new situation. One of the main concerns of the crisis team was the upcoming shortage of PPEs. Even if at the beginning we had enough, we knew that the whole world was looking for PPEs. The demand was skyrocketing and very soon it was obvious that not enough material would be at our disposition anymore. Prices for equipment like masks just went through the ceiling. They had become a very, very scarce resource that everybody wanted. One of the main problems at the beginning was that China was uh, at the epicenter of uh, the pandemic and in large parts shut down, meaning that all the production facilities where PPEs for the world are produced were shut down or their capacities were massively reduced. That's when we had the idea to um, assess whether a local production of uh, protective gear with Dupont Tyvek material was possible. Through uh, our foundation, um, together with Dr. Wilmers, uh, we approached um, a local designer and manufacturer of clothes by the name of uh, Eva Ferranti. Um, and we basically asked the question whether she could manufacture um, medical gowns uh, uh, for us. Dr. Vilmers is a friend of ours. Um, he's been a client for us for like 10 years. He's become a, a friend. So at the beginning of the COVID crisis, um, he gave me a ring and said, now that you're not producing suits, could you produce something else? And um, we said yes. We started to, uh, to put in place two new production lines uh, in the evening. Um, we needed different machines. We went and fetched those machines from the schools in Luxembourg. And so within a week, uh, we were ready. Early on, we approached Dupont and uh, they bent over backwards to supply us with Tyvek, which is the raw material we needed to produce the protective garment. When Dr. Wilmes called Dupont, we knew already that the situation in the hospital in Luxembourg was dramatic. So we immediately decided to give the highest priority to these initiatives. We knew that this was the best way uh, to shortcut the long production pipeline and to have uh, the PPE ready for the, the healthcare worker in the shortest uh, possible amount of time. Our role into the initiative was to produce the material and deliver enough to the workshop of Eva Ferranti. Basically, we produced whatever the hospitals asked us to produce, as long as we could do it with Tyvek. It started with uh, coveralls, um, and, but transpired that in the end they needed uh, gowns more urgently, so we did a lot of gowns. So, have you produced several types of clothes? Yes, at the beginning we had one. And then, at the request of the hospitals, we made a few little things for everyone. We were used to producing 10, 20 suits a week and at this point we were producing something like 500 garments a day. We did all we could to make sure we had enough protective uh, equipment because not having enough protective equipment would mean that uh, eventually our healthcare workers and doctors would fall ill and then we would not only have a shortage in PPEs but also a shortage in healthcare workers and doctors meaning then not enough people to treat the patients anymore. In times of crisis, I think it's very important that everybody who can play a role, plays that role. One of the key factors that made this operation such a success was the fact that so many people from different horizons, from different sectors, with different skills, quickly put their heads together and were driven by the only goal to provide our healthcare workers and doctors in a very short amount of time with the best protective gear possible. 